so hi, I'm Matthew Rothenberg. I really like things that go fast. That's going to include this presentation. I'm going to try to keep it within the five minutes I've been allocated today, uh, since I know I'm the last talk keeping you from the deep in party. So apologies in advance to the real-time translator uh, for I'm going to perhaps speak quickly for that. Uh, anyway, I support engineering and operations across a number of teams at Protocol Labs, including our efforts around fast data. That currently includes Web3 Storage, Filecoin Saturn, and Filecoin Station. Uh, today, I wanted to talk briefly about the emerging need for fast and hot storage in the Filecoin ecosystem, what that means, and how a new generation of L2 networks can help enable it. Also, I'm going to touch briefly on the benefits and opportunities that's going to bring for both storage providers and well, as well as our end users. Okay. So Filecoin has onboarded a massive amount of data over the last 18 months. It's the largest decentralized storage network by far at this point. Now, most of that data has come from Web2 archival customers. You know, typically important research, education, cultural data sets that we love. I'm sick of that. Um, and more recently, Filecoin has also begun to onboard more and more Web3 specific data. For example, blockchain state, which you've seen in the Solana chain state. Sure. So what we're seeing now is that there are some industry sectors for Web3 native projects where this growth is just incredibly stressing the existing storage retrieval solutions. So we are seeing these projects that are utilizing bespoke IPFS implementations or running their own storage nodes for hot storage, and they're all hitting scalability problems. They're all hitting performance limits once they get to a certain scale. And none of them really love the fact that they have the maintenance burden of running these custom bespoke solutions just in order to be able to provide hot storage. So in particular, what we're seeing is a growth in demand for hot storage being driven by Web3 social, Web3 gaming, and Web3 infrastructure companies. And from those companies, we're seeing a common but unmet set of requirements. For example, one defining characteristic that we're seeing from all of them is they're looking for Web3 native storage, but that can serve data at a lower latency for egress than is possible with Filecoin today. And the number that we hear again and again, the common magic number seems to be about 100 milliseconds, sub 100 millisecond time to first byte is what people are looking for. So in order to enable this next wave of data growth of Web3, Filecoin can utilize layer two networks to support Web3 infrastructure for truly planetary scale applications. And interestingly enough, we have a number of existing projects in the ecosystem today that are already well positioned as level two networks that could unlock Web3 scale hot storage. Uh, for example, Titan Network, who you just heard from, Web3 Storage and Saturn, Tableland, and Banyan. So for one update, let's look quickly at two of those established products that are now going to be working together to provide an end-to-end -end solution for hot storage. Um, what? Web3 Storage is a well-known, probably to many of you, storage solution that has onboarded hundreds of petabytes of data for enterprise-scale customers such as OpenSea. Saturn is a decentralized retrieval network that launched late last year and has now proven it to be running at 25 terabits per second with thousands of retrieval nodes all around the world. Now, these two teams are now joining forces in order to try to work together to build a new level two, layer, layer two solution that can rapidly onboard new data sets while at the same time quickly offering really fast retrievals. And importantly, this is going to be done in a way that is native to the Web3 ecosystem and working in conjunction with layer one Filecoin SPs. So those teams are planning to publish their roadmap in the next quarter and they're starting to engage with the community on storage protocol development. More in a minute on how you can get involved in that. So really quickly, what does a level layer two hot storage system look like? Um, so there's actually a lot of different shapes and topologies you could use here. Uh, I think the really important thing to note, especially for this audience, is that these layers unlock new types of paid data storage that can't be met with Filecoin today. So this expands the market. It does not cannibalize any existing Filecoin demand. Um, 
I know there's a lot to digest in this, this diagram. I, I'm just not gonna have time to do justice by walking through all the scenarios in here. So I said, I'll just try to summarize really briefly and we can follow up later. Um, an L2 hot storage network keeps files in an object store with a lightweight proof system on nodes that can either be run across the community or on Filecoin storage provider infrastructure directly. Uh, the CDN level retrievals, the fast retrievals, are enabled through L2 retrieval nodes. And durability is provided by Filecoin through cryptographic proof system and data sealing. So a simplified model, a way you could look at this is you can think of retrieval nodes represent a caching layer, the storage nodes represent a transient read-write layer, and Filecoin represents a durability layer. Um, now, these hot storage systems also can introduce their own cryptographic systems and leverage an L2 rollup system like IPC. So the end result, though, is that you have a faster storage and retrieval network that still retains Filecoin's durability guarantees. So, Bye, Tina. importantly, what does this mean for Filecoin SPs today? Well, a lot of SPs are already keeping unsealed copies of sealed storage deals in order to enable retrievals. But now this is something which will be able to be much more directly incentivized via participation in a hot storage on sale. And SPs can also participate in a number of other ways, including if you like running L2 retrieval nodes directly on your infrastructure. And archive from L2 networks is going to increase paid demand to layer one uh, SPs. So uh, for those who want to participate in discussion around uh, the storage protocol for this, the Web3 Storage and Saturn teams are encouraging builders and SPs to join them in a new community Slack channel they just set up on the Filecoin Slack. Uh, and we're looking forward to seeing some interesting conversations going on there. I'll give you one quick second if you want to photograph. Going once, twice. All right. And with that, that's actually the five minutes I had for you today. So um, I'm looking forward to conversations with many of you over the next day or two about bringing hot storage into our ecosystem. And with that, let's make Hot Filecoin hotter and faster together. Thank you. Thank you.